This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? What did you want to talk about? Right to the point. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Oh, this is bad. Come on, sit down. You only live once. I hope you've got another one of those. <laughs> I never took you for a lush mirror. <sighs> Sadly, it's just the one. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. Yeah, except that we will. Ah. So, I, uh... <laughs> She's gonna be wasted. Well, I just... Spit it out. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. That's gonna come back to bite us. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It oh. was a disgrace to her family. That's you. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Well, who the hell could it be? Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie. Yeah, she knows her everything. Her grandmother. And now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Uh. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I mean, I'll do it Please, later. Marjorie Mira. hasn't been the hugest of, of help to me so far. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I feel bad for this girl. Compassion's so getting sorry. in the way. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. No. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. <laughs> Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. See, Tyrion's not the type that would go and tell I'd us. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. 
strange it should find its way into a bush. Quite strange. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. Yet you're worried about an alliance with me? You need to know what risks are worth taking. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. Not surprised. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady? I mean, this can only go well. So... Yeah, we're pretty much screwed. <laughs> She's gonna be toasted. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. <laughs> Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. That much is clear. A friend of Lord Tyrion's. What does that mean? Are we playing games now? She's too modest. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Mira Forrester? That's right. Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. That's a private matter, my lords. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. We I can. assure you, I can. <laughs> this is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Goodbye. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. <laughs> Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Just ah, adding fuel oh, to the fire. That was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. But... Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. Mm. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Nice, okay. What are you going to want from of us? Of course, you'd have to do something <laughs> for me in return. Knew that was coming. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. Oh, of course. We have an understanding, then. 
Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for yeah, you. Yeah, I was gonna say, or very bad for us, exactly. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Oh, what have we done? Deal with the tiny my lady. devil. Headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. Sounds like it. Let's go. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. Hmm. An army of cell swords and a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Beska can lead them. What? She's stronger than most knights in Westeros. This is your fight, Asher. Your family. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. Let's and find all the companies first, around we'll here it out. are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. <laughs> no. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, I am charming. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. What is it exactly? What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Come on, after all we've been through. Ponte Renas, Yung Kai Heroncho, Sibota Gon Costoti da Or. A smell of fight. One soldier's not going to benefit us that much. And potentially, we could have Just infiltrated. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. Like, we could wear his gear, maybe. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. No pressure. We haven't heard from our little helper boy in a while, although that could be him. Uh-oh. A 
sick a little look see hello I don't hear anything Okay. Are those all the invitations? Everything's still here. It's probably just to leave us a message. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? I mean, communications with your family, that's pretty important. They could get a lot out of that. Plans. Who's been where? Who's I been have what? information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. I'm not going to turn that down. It's got to be that boy. 